Smoking on a cigarette He's in the sky, deep in the dark And in a mix he knows the mark Woo! Welcome back to the Juicy Vapor Channel, everybody. Today we're doing an unboxing of the TFV4 by Smoke. The full kit by Smoke. Yes! Yes! Let's go ahead and do what's in there. I've got everything kind of splayed out. Let's go ahead and do what's in there. <laughs> Describe to you what's in there in the kit, and then uh, we'll, we'll do a small review of it, okay? You've got your user manual. Warranty card. Some cotton, bag of goodies, spare glass tube, some cool little rings there. Um, okay, now the tank comes in there as well, obviously. I have it put together because uh, I went the way of the RBA and took out the manufactured coil. And as all of you know, it takes just a little bit of time to saturate the wicks uh, without overdoing it and getting all that leakiness everywhere. You gotta, you gotta do it right. So uh, I took out the manufactured coil, and again, that that is the tank sitting on my Tesla three. Uh, what comes in there is the quadruple and triple coil heads, and the other RBA that comes in here. I should say the other coil is the RBA. Uh, I tried that and I went ahead and took that uh, and the coil that was in there, the one drawback that I had, the coil that was in there on that single coil uh, head was that it really had no, 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 no uh, production flavor. So I took the original coil off and I went ahead and put me on a on a twisted pair and it went from like 1 ohm to 0.5 sub ohm and it still didn't get the quality that I was looking for uh, so having said that this does not come in the box I want to explain that this is separate I went ahead because uh, a few of us reviewers talk and they recommended that I get the beast kit. The beast kit comes again with the the RBA RCA type thing and it comes with three coils clapped in. See if I can get it clear enough up there. I apologize I'm gonna work on getting some other cameras pretty soon. Uh, so there you see it. That I had I actually got two of these um, and that is what I ended up putting in here so instead of one coil at 0.5 this coil with three of them came in at a 0.19 sub ohm and I was like yeah baby that's what's up let me put this down so I'm not playing with it here so that's what I got in this kit it is separate but I highly recommend it if you're a person that wants to go the route of the RBA, RCA, RDTA, all them acronyms. Uh, if you want to go that route, this guy is what you want to get. And uh, it's not very expensive at all. So, as a matter of fact, I ended up getting two. The reason for that is, and I'll just make a brief explanation. Uh, I love the brand Smoke. There's like three brands that I'm just, I really dig. I dig it a lot. Um, but I have never really found the on the mechanical side of coils anything that I really, really liked. In theory, they're really great. But I had not found something that I really was like, okay, I'm, I'm digging this. Because uh, I have a sensitive palate, and a lot of times I could pick up the cotton, and yes, I will do everything perfectly right and it just wouldn't taste what I was wanting because my palate is extremely sensitive as most of y'all know when I say my name is Chef Andy yes I went to culinary school I worked in the restaurant business I was a legit bona fide chef 
Uh, and before I became disabled, I started all the way as a dishwasher, then a waiter, and then chef, and moved my way up. So my palate's extremely keen on taste and all that. And uh, so one of the other reviewers recommended uh, the TFB-8, and that had the RBA coil in there, and when I put that together, the design of it, and I'll kind of explain this real quick, why I went this route, uh, and then we'll get back to doing a small review. The Instead of having your, your velocity style decks up here, and then like on the mutations and all that, you have this tiny, tiny little reservoir, and then you got that cotton there, and then every so often you got to squeeze a few more drops. Well, you can end up getting burning the cotton and stuff, um, and then, like on the Limitless uh, iJoys, they have your Velocity Style Decks up here, and then the wick comes down and it kind of sucks it up. Well, same thing, you're relying on defying gravity. With these kind of kits right here, the oil, the e-juice, pardon me, uh, the weight, gravity, pushes down. And if you see real close, I don't know if I can get it in. There we are. There's one of the spaces right there. That's where one of the wick spots are. Your air flows down here, so you're seeing in the glass. Well, the e-juice the e is providing the gravity to help that cotton suck up. So in a sense, it's working like a traditional coil that comes in with your wick right here, pulling it through. Same principle. So I started on the TFB-8 because, again, I'm, I'm disabled. I'm on a very limited income. Um, so buying a lot of coils... Sometimes, uh, you know, it, it can be expensive depending on what type of tank. So I was in a hunt for finding the right, right kind. So I started on the TFB-8, really liked it, and then somebody said, hey, you'll really like this one because I was a big fan of the E-Leaf, uh, I'm sorry, the Arctic tank. Um, they're, well, here, I can do a comparison for you. Here we go. I got one on my E-Leaf 100 watt. Here's your Arctic. I love these because they're so durable. Well, finally, somebody brought me back around. There you go. You can do a side-by-side. -side. Which way? Okay. The TFB4 is a little bit bigger, but it's got that same heft, feel, and durability to it. All right. So, because I really like the Smoke brand, and then, of course, my Arctic being my kind of go-to house brand in case I break a tank or something that thing just doesn't break well somebody introduced me to the TFB4 knowing that I like the smoke brand and sure enough when I went and got this extra add-on to it with the triple coil if you look real carefully I hope I can get that in there there's okay here we go underneath there's air holes you see that you can see the whiteness of my uh, my surface there there's air holes in there so your, your wick only goes right there. You don't need much at all. It's got three wick holes. you got three coils. Man, I'm sorry if I'm not getting it right on there. I'm just an everyday guy doing real reviews. So, um, And I like to do things in one take, so I don't do all those pausing things. Mainly because I'm not fast enough. Anyway, back to this kit. I put that triple coil on here, and this is what happened. And this is on my Tesla 3, so here we go. That's not bad, and keep in mind, I only put a little e-juice in there, because if you don't seal it right on any tank, as we know, you could get some leakage. So I only put enough to saturate the coils, the wicks, there, you can see it right there. Uh, and, oh my God, I got flavor. I got a decent cloud on that. Um, so, buying that extra, and again, I bought, I got two of them. So, and this is the one that's in there right now that, that you saw me just take that puff off. There's no, there's no lacking in the flavor, and the clouds are pretty cool, too. It's pretty darn close. Um... So, I'm really impressed with the, the Smoke brand overall, uh, and finally I've come across something that will save some money on some coils, and that's probably why I'm taking an extra few minutes for you guys uh, on this kit, because 
this guy right here is is uh, obviously it's not the big baby beast or or you know the TFB8 um, cloud beast or whatever. It's it's a little bit smaller, but it's not lacking in strength. Uh, and these Tesla threes can go up to 150 watt. Um, so it's not lacking in taste or cloud. I am not disappointed at all. Uh, so I'm actually kind of now finally all my research has got me to where the smoke brand has got that mechanical section on their tank uh, with these coil builds that I really I like. And so I'm really enthused about it. Uh, can save some money on it. Not lacking taste on it. So that's what comes in there. Um, yeah, guys, go out and get that. It's really, it's really good. It comes standard with some, some, uh, some good goodies in there. The only thing I would say, the only drawback, is that I did not like this single coil deck build at all. I, that's with me even putting another coil in there. Um, yeah, I got it to a point five, but then when you look at it, there's no real airflow down below. So, yeah, the tank itself has airflow but you don't have that airflow on here. It's just a single coil head. So the add-on, the beast kit, that's 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 where you gotta go with this. And that was less than 10 bucks, so I would recommend it. And if you want a tank that's gonna last you like a long time, and I've had already no leakage or anything, this right here I would put a big thumbs up on. Uh, go out and get it, it's very, very affordable. Uh, plus, the build on it is very durable. Uh, the additional uh, coil deck builds that you can put on here, awesome. Um, and again, this thing, when I put it in there, was at a 0.19. Yeah, it, it was fluctuating from a 0 0.18, 0 0.19. Uh, and it's consistent. So, why don't we get on out of here. Thanks for taking some time to come by and say hi. Please like, subscribe. Uh, if you will, tell your friends about us, and uh, let's get on out of here. Later. I'm pulling on a cigarette. He's in the skies, deep in the dark. And in a mix, he knows the mark.